Good morning, guys. No, good evening. So, uh, as you have seen in the previous clip, I was uh, in a group meeting, as usual. So, this whole day I've been working for school. I didn't film that because I didn't think it was that necessary. Uh, so, yeah, but now I'm going to wash my hair because it's already been two weeks. If you want to know my wash routine, click the link uh, on this side. Uh, if you also want to know how I moisturize my hair, I've put everything in the description box down below and in the um, links on this side. Um, I'm also thinking of renewing my hair care regimen. Oh, I've basically already renewed it, but I think I'll film it because it's important to change slash adapt slash renew your hair care regimen every six months or just once a year because once your hair gets um how do you say that um so when you you find your hair care regimen your hair will um, get used to it and that's when your hair starts no I'm not saying it stops growing, but it's more like uh, it won't grow that fast anymore. So, for example, if you use Jamaican black castor oil or tea tree oil on a daily basis, after, let's say, three to six months, it won't work that fast like it used to. So there are other options so i'm thinking of making a video about that i won't explain in this video because or else it would be too long <coughs> and i might got time for that so yeah i think i will wash my hair Ugh, i'm not in the mood but my scalp is itchy and i need it to be clean okay good morning guys so today is tuesday i did not um i forgot to film yesterday when I was hold on. okay, normally I got class at this hour, but I'm on Microsoft Teams and they did not start a go oh, never mind. Look. So, um, yesterday, um, I took my cornrows out because I wanted to wash my hair, but I got tired and now I went to sleep and my hair looks like this don't even ask why and how but yeah <laughs> it is what it is honey well after class i'll wash it if i still got the energy because i think i got class too okay so now it's 1 30. why is it not focusing it's 1 35 and our class still 4 30 and I'm not in the mood but yeah anyways so uh, we're done uh, I'm done meeting with my group uh, we're almost done with our projects I got so many projects this year like I can't even keep up I think I got like four to five group projects well, you know, that's how it works being in her last year. But anyways, <laughs> ja, I didn't even tell you what happened to me last week. No, two weeks ago. I almost cried. Yeah, no, I did cry. <laughs> but it was something stupid. So, um, I had a presentation. I had a presentation for uh, my French class. Uh, it was just uh, like a short like vitve uh, presentation and um it was like five minutes but the night before um i ate uh fumba for the people who don't know what fumba is for my non congolese people out there fumba is <laughs> is like greens mixed with peanut butter uh, sometimes uh, our moms they put fish in it or some like like little piece of um, meat, but it depends on how your how that person cooks. 
so um for the people who know fumwa like eating a lot of peanut butter at a specific hour it ain't good for for your stomach like my your stomach will reject that like it's it's healthy well it depends on how you cook it but fumba is healthy uh so around 10 p.m because i was busy doing schoolwork, so I, I had deadlines to to complete so i did them uh, okay and then i went to the kitchen i was like oh my god my mom made fumba and i was like in a mood um i grabbed some fufu with fumba and a little piece of chicken if i'm not wrong but i didn't eat much no. people who know me like i'm a big eater like i love to eat especially when there's fumba in the house or tiktiko or what else i'm gonna eat so guys um yeah i ate and i watched some criminal minds like i was in my yeah my chill zone like don't disturb me and whatnot so the next day i woke up um i had like uh some stomach aches and i was like mm, like i'm not on my period like why is my stomach hurting so i went to the toilet and chow the thing that came out of my stomach i don't know what it was but it was a mess like i almost cried so mind you my presentation was at 12 p.m and i woke up um during my, yeah the stomach aches were around eight o'clock so i thought okay around 12 p.m it will be gone so i'm um, back to bed uh i rehearsed my presentation and then around 11 45 i feel something burning in my body like i was like what in jesus name is this i was like mm -mm, not today Satan. i quickly ran to the to the, to the bathroom uh, to the toilet and like i pushed everything out but the thing is it was hurting so much and it didn't stop like it kept coming and i was like child what is going on like i i didn't even eat that much fumboa it was just like maybe like this this was the portion it was not too much so i kept and i, I started to cry i was like oh my god like in five minutes um my my presentation is starting so then around 12 uh oh, no five minutes past 12 my teachers started calling me because our presentation was on teams and i got teams on my phone and my teacher started calling me and she said like in the room she's like uh rachel uh, te u, te u, uh uh, and I was like, what moves? Like, what am I supposed to tell my teacher? Like, oh, I'm, I can't come around. Like, like, like I'm shitting my pants. Like, <laughs> what? Like, I'm having diarrhea. Like, you can't say that. I texted my sister, like, help me. I don't know what to do. Like, the diarrhea won't stop, and I got a presentation, like, right now. And she was like, yeah, just text her. Like, just text her. Like, you can't come. I'm like, what am I supposed to say? I can't tell her, like, yeah, madam, um, I'm a bit late because I'm having diarrhea. I can't. <laughs> uh, I just sent her email. I was like, yeah, I'm having connection problems and stuff. Like, I can't come right now. But I hope everything will be better in like a few minutes. Like, and the thing is, like, I was stressing so much. Like, I, I was crying. It hurt. Like, it, it wasn't even, it was burning. It looked like, like fire was coming out of my butt. <laughs> Fumba gave me PTSD. Like, give me a whole trauma like i was crying on the toilet like <laughs> it was a mess like the things i go through sometimes it's, it's just something else and the reason why i'm telling this story time because i just saw a tweet and i immediately um uh, thought of my experience <laughs> so it basically said so you see my whole situation uh, he had the same thing and um he and his uh siblings <laughs> and his siblings and his uh aunt went to the market so the um, the day before uh his aunt made uh made fumba and he and his friends um and his siblings ate it and the next day they had the same problem as me like they were walking around easy and stuff but the thing is <laughs> all of a sudden <laughs> they they uh they got diarrhea they had diarrhea and the thing is they didn't have a choice to to go to the toilet so they just shit it <laughs> so they just shit their pants because they had no other option 
So it was this tweet. And <laughs> when I saw this tweet, like, <laughs> I screamed because now I know I'm not the only one who almost shit their pants because of this demonic dish. Like, I don't know who invented this, but it ain't cute, okay? Why? Like, it's so good, but it's, like, it tastes amazing, but... I don't think it's made for a human body, okay? So now, I will get ready to film um, some videos for my channel. I'm not sure when I will post it. I think I'll post it. Why is it not focusing? I think I'll post it. Um, I'll post one tomorrow or next week. I'm still figuring that out. And... Um, Okay, this out of focus is a bit it's annoying me. I don't know. Just focus, right? And like the other ones I will post next year. Um so yeah, so now I will get ready. I will take a shower. I'll put some makeup on. I'll and I'll start filming. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. Now it's time to do a blowout again on my hair because it shrunk. <sighs> That's the life of a high porosity girl. But yeah, luckily it's already mainly stretched. I just need to reapply uh, my routine and yeah, that's it. So for my face, uh, I use the Can't Stop Won't Stop from NYX Foundation. Um, I didn't put on any eyeshadow because I wasn't in the mood. Um, concealer, I think it was LA, LA Girl if I'm not wrong. I think it was LA Girl if I'm not wrong. And my lashes are from Primark from the 3D Mink collection if I'm not wrong. But they don't sell them anymore so yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, it's more stretched right now. I can put my fingers easily through it, so... I just love this lip gloss and lip liner combo it's just perfect like like I just want to kiss myself like hello beam okay so uh, I think it's time to take off my makeup I don't want to because I look too cute but yeah. oh, Jesus is Lord hey I know you're supposed to put micellar water on it, but you might not have that. Good morning guys, today is uh, Wednesday the 16th, uh, I had class in the morning, well normally I had class but it didn't go through, I don't know why, but it's found me. So now, I will do some work, well I have to work till 6.30, 
I have to write some articles. Uh, I have to take care of this uh, SEO. Um, yeah, that's it. So today is going to be a chill day. Just lay back. You know, working from home. <sighs> Guys, let me tell you. I am so annoyed right now. So I just finished cooking. Um, I don't know what time it is. I think it's 10 o'clock. Oh no, it's 10.45. So I just finished cooking. I made some uh, homemade wraps. Um, just usual, just quick, easy, healthy, whatever. So uh, I'm in the kitchen. First of all, for the people who don't know, um, my dorm room is in Antwerp and uh, we share the kitchen. So everybody got his own like shower and, and uh, toilet, whatever, but we share... Um, the kitchen hold on let me just close the window for people, people will switch on me because uh, i'm so tired of these people not everyone though but just the ones who are nasty so i was uh yeah, cooking and uh someone came in the door uh someone well some, bleh, someone came in the kitchen uh, I don't know what I don't know what he was doing. Um, the thing is, um, our kitchen, yeah, it's big, but it's not that big like I'm used to. Um, we got two stoves with four, I don't know, cooking plates. I don't know, I don't know how it's called in English, but anyways, um, and we got like a balcony on the, um, uh, yeah, on, besides the kitchen, I guess. Uh, where you can chill whatever and there are all the um, trash cans or whatever so um, the guy who came in uh, he was like um, uh, he grabbed something out of the, the fridge and he went to the balcony to smoke but the thing is whenever you smoke uh, the smell comes in the kitchen and he knew and he saw me like he saw that I was cooking and I thought like this negro is really smoking his thank ass cigarette while I'm cooking and mind you mind you he smells as well like whenever he opens his um, his <laughs> whenever he opens his um, the door of his room like the smell that comes out of his room is just like <laughs> I don't know what it is but that's not a smell i've never smelled that that smell before but it was it is nasty Ooh, oh my god i almost forgot to tell you so one day i was cooking and i was washing my vegetables in the sink and um and all of a sudden she was also in the kitchen at that girl i don't know i don't even know how what she what she's called so all of a sudden she grabs the the how do you call it water pipe I don't know. She grabs the water pipe and without asking, without excusing herself, and she starts washing her fish or like I think it was not it was chicken. And I looked at her like Don't you have a mouth to speak? Don't you have a mouth to ask something if you need it? And I was like, honey, wait, you don't know me. I will get you. Since that day, uh I've I've just given her that look like Try me again and I will kill you. And since that day, like, she... I think she's, like, intimidated by me. And, like... Anyways, like, I got so many stories, guys, about where I live. And it's just a mess. So, yeah, that was my thing. Here in Antwerp, in my dorm room, like... There are nice people over here, of course. Like, the other students are really nice. If you say, like, if they're annoying you, of like, if they're, like, uh, step, stepping over your boundaries, like, you can just tell them easily and and um, everything will be settled. But some people are just a mess. Like, they think they own this whole place. They think they... Is their father's house like <laughs> you're not alone like you don't know that we are students 
like every day from 8 o'clock or till 6 o'clock we have class so like one ounce of decency one ounce of respect is not that much okay it's not that hard to give okay oh my gosh and i almost started to tell you and so her boyfriend saw that guy that was smoking today on the here in the balcony uh this guy is tall three pieces of chicken legs for me already seasoned already marinated with all the flavors and everything and he stole that from me so when i found out like i said every person everyone who tries to steal my food again or anything else will suffer from diarrhea to the end of his of her or her days okay so yeah okay guys oh i need to eat my because my food is getting cold so yeah normally i need to wash my hair but i don't know anyways see you guys <laughs> Okay, so today it's uh, Thursday the 17th. Uh, I had class in the morning from 10 till 12. Now it's almost 2 o'clock. I'm just getting ready to go out because I need to do some Christmas shopping. I need to buy a new tripod because mine just broke. Don't even ask me how. Um, I hope they still got them. So yeah, I'm just gonna look uh, everywhere. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just laying my wig real quick to go out. I don't even know what to wear because I know it's cold, but the sun is shining. And Oof, let me just see. Okay, guys, I'm ready. It's time to go. Uh, normally, I start my second class at 3:45, so I got at least let's say one hour and 30 minutes to do everything i hope everything goes well and that i'll be on time or else yeah it's too bad but yeah anyways let's go Okay, so I'm back home. Um, I didn't make it on time. Well, just a little bit for my class. Uh, I just followed it the first few minutes um, on my phone. And then uh, I got home at around 50. So I was just like five minutes late, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I bought some presents for my family, but I won't... But I won't show you uh, right now because it's a surprise and I know they watch, uh, also watch my vlog. But what I can show you is that I bought a jacket, like the pink coat jacket by Zara. It was like 30 euros and I'm just like, <laughs> here come on with me, B. And I also bought a dress, it was like 10 euros. I hope it fits. I took an M, so I tried a dress on, and it's cute. It's a real simple dress. Like you can make it bougie if you want. It has like a turtleneck. It's really tight though. So if you got a fat neck, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you know sometimes the dresses at um, Zara are a bit see-through, mm -hmm. um, but I noticed this dress is. It's not that see-through because I purposely put on a like a white bra to see if it was see-through or not and you can see it like not at all so the jacket is like this it's a teddy coat jacket it's a short one it's like just above your hips mm -hmm. uh, mine is in I think um, Yes, my size at Zara is M. Like everything, um, like dresses, jackets, and stuff, I always uh, buy M. So. 
so yeah it's six o'clock so i need to follow my church prayer and yeah i will see you in two hours okay guys so i just finished dinner i made some hamburgers i forgot to film it because <laughs> i'm so tired i don't know if you could hear it in my voice <clears throat> but uh now it's like 9 30 uh, p.m so i will go to, uh, to sleep uh just a couple of minutes because tomorrow i need to get up around eight o'clock because i have to work till 2 p.m then i got class from 2 p.m till i think 4 p.m if i'm not wrong and that's it oh lord so yeah guys uh, see you tomorrow so today it's friday the 18th let me check yeah, the 18th and so in the morning i had to work from 8 till 2 uh, then i had class till 3 no if not, yeah till 3 o'clock uh, so now i'm gonna do some shopping again because i didn't find everything yesterday so uh, I need some wrapping paper, uh, a tripod. I couldn't find one yesterday. So yeah, that's it. I think I look cute though. I mean, this jacket. I mean, this jacket is so soft. Like, do you look like this? I don't think so okay so i'm finally back guys so i couldn't film outside because it was so crowded over there and i didn't have enough space in my hands to hold the camera nor, nor my phone so i didn't film so the things i bought are just uh, first of all i bought some food mcdonald's okay because i was not in the mood to cook um and i bought the last things for Christmas, like wrapping paper. Uh, what else? I brought some clothes. But the thing is, I didn't buy anything for myself. The only thing I bought for myself is the food. Uh, and the rest of it, I just like stuff that my mom and my uh, sister asked me to buy, and that's it. And some less um, Christmas gifts for them. So yeah, that's it. Hold on, hold on, why? So this is supposed to be a double cheese burger. Why did they even buy this? Oh my gosh. This, this is why I need to stop going to McDonald's because they always disappoint me. Like, the only thing I like are their fries. I can't. Well, luckily I brought some chicken too because I knew the they will mess me like the disrespect the audacity the caucasity the good morning guys uh, today it's saturday and i'm going back home um uh to the main house so uh i packed everything mm -hmm. like uh, this is why i hate traveling because like i've got so many stuff on me like i got my camera i got my bag i got my uh suitcase then i got another bag like <laughs> you would think like i would go on a three week vacation or something but yeah that's it um why is my camera so dirty anyways so yeah now i'm on the way to uh train station and guys wish me luck because these bags are heavy. <laughs> so guys, 
actually close. I'm so clumsy sometimes. Anyway, so guys, <laughs> I just got home back at the main house. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, like the, like the journey was hella chaotic. Like I know what was going on with um, an MBS, like our train uh, train company in here in Belgium. Like it was a mess. But yeah, I'm back home now, so now I'm just getting ready to. What time is it? I'm just gonna rest a bit. Um, I'm gonna pack my stuff. Okay guys, so today it's Sunday, the how much 20th and um, so now we're going outside, we're going to buy a room. No, we're going to buy a mitraillet. So, yeah. This is your sister. I did not. Did you die? I answered toch. I said no. I did not die. Okay, but nee, je hebt de shit. Bref. Bon appétit. Thank you. 